Prologis is one of the biggest and most successful REITs in the world. It invests mainly in industrial properties, which benefit greatly from the growth of e-commerce, and as a result, it has one of the best track records of every REIT. Yisku Properties, on the other hand, is quite similar to Prologis in that it also invests in industrial properties that have done greatly in the past. Its track record is actually even slightly better than that of Prologis. And so as a result, both of these REITs are very popular among individual investors. And I often get asked in the comment section of my videos, which REIT is the best purchase today? Is it Prologis? Is it East Group Properties? And that's what I'm going to answer in this video. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why I think that East Group Properties is a better investment opportunity than Prologis today in May of 2023. But before I get into it, if you find this content valuable, could you please make me a huge favor and like this video? It helps me a lot to grow this channel, which is not easy these days because there's a lot of competition. So again, thank you very much. So the main reason why I think that East Group Properties is a better opportunity than Prologis is its portfolio. If you look at both REITs, they are quite similar. If you look at their management, both have strong track record of significant outperformance. Both also have very strong balance sheets that are investment grade rated. Both trade at roughly the same valuation. So the main the main difference really is in the portfolio composition. Prologis is really large. It owns about 200 billion worth of industrial properties. And so one consequence of being so big is that it's going to own all sorts of industrial properties. It's going to own some single tenant properties, some multi-tenant properties, some properties that are more affected by oversupply, some less, some properties in good market, some in a bit less good or even bad market, some average market. It's really gonna own a mixture of all sorts of assets and that's just a result of being so big. It's very difficult to focus on one niche of the industrial property market when you're so big. East Group Properties on the other hand is a lot smaller. Its market cap is about 15 times smaller than that of Prologis. So it's not small in size, but it's still way smaller. And this has allowed it to build a portfolio that's much more concentrated on some key factors that I think are very favorable for its future. The first thing here is that most of its properties are located in rapidly growing Sunbelt markets. Its two biggest markets today are Texas and Florida, which are experiencing very rapid growth, leading to high occupancy rates and high rent growth. Then the second factor to consider here is that East Group is mostly investing in multi-tenant properties. And I think that this is particularly important today because there's a lot of new supply coming into the market. You know, a lot of the property developers have witnessed the huge returns of industrial properties of the past year. So they've come in, they've started building a lot of new properties, but most of the new construction are single tenant properties. And so I think that these are going to suffer a lot more than the multi-tenant properties in the coming years. Just to give you an idea here, you can imagine a Walmart distribution center or an Amazon warehouse. These are the single tenant properties that are getting built in very large quantities at the moment. And so I think that the multi-tenant properties are going to do better in the coming years because they have a lot less new supply coming in. And then the third and final factor that that's important for East Group is that most of its properties are in urban locations. They enjoy higher barriers to entry because there's limited land available for new construction. And so again, this limits the risk of oversupply. So these are the reasons why I prefer the portfolio of East Group properties today. So to recap, Sunbelt focused, multi-tenant, mostly urban properties with higher barriers to entry. So less risk of oversupply, more consistent rent growth in the future. And this is why I think that this is a better investment opportunity today because you're not having to pay a premium for it. The valuations are about the same at 22 times FFO. Both have very strong balance sheets with limited debt and strong investment grade ratings, long debt maturities. And again, the track record of East Group properties is actually even better than that of Prologis. And then the final point still that I didn't mention yet is that I think that the smaller size of East Group is going to allow it to also grow faster in the future as it keeps on developing more properties and each new investment has a larger impact on its bottom line. Now, if you want to learn more about what other REITs I'm buying, feel free to join my sub stack. It's completely free. I'll put a link somewhere in the description. I actually haven't started posting content yet, but I plan to start start doing so in the near future. So yeah, feel free to leave your email down there. And otherwise, again, if you found this content valuable, please consider liking the video. Help me a lot. Thank you very much. See you at my next one. Bye-bye.